Hey friends, hey fans, welcome, welcome back, how you doing, what's up? So I'm gonna do, I just found these drinks at my gas station and uh, I just started a low carb lifestyle again, but um, they didn't have any good, I don't know, I'm sick of, I've been drinking Fresca, I'm sick of Fresca, I drink a lot of water, some sugar free coffees. Anyways, looking for a new drink found these both of these are zero sugar they only have one curb I believe so I am going to do a pick a pile pick a drink energy drink uh, on why did they ghost you right boom um so I don't know these would be interesting to try angels ancestors guides Mother God, Father God, highest self. Please help me connect with the divine energy so I can bring forward information to the highest good. Anything dark or negative, not to our highest good. Adios, goodbye, can't stay. Leave it, love you, peace. Blessed be, amen. It is so, it is done. All right. Okay. Let's just jump right on in there. Group number one, Swedish fish. So these are some descriptors of the person that goes to you, just so you know if you picked your right pile. So this person is someone you like, your crush, me and best friend. Okay, so if this is the person that goes to you, I am gonna use my divination dice and try to get the story and why they ghosted you and then well we'll see if we need more more information I have a couple other tools around that I can use so let's see I'm just listening to all the messages coming through. Hold on. So I see this person does see you as a star. This person loves you, thinks they love you. Maybe you gave them the, the ax, you chopped them, or vice versa, <laughs> uh, for not watering the connection enough. might have ran off to be a hoe. I'll have to change it to an 18 plus reading, right? Happy home. Okay, I heard it can't make a hoe a housewife. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so maybe this person, um, maybe they have like a fear of commitment or something. Let me grab these cards too. I don't know why it's like I called it right away. I was like, well, if we need more information, so let me see. So, oh yeah, see happy home, like you're their happy place, your home, your, okay. So they ghost you, chop, chop it down, uh, they ghost you, I just feel like you did the chopping though. Huh, they're being stupid. Hmm. 
Either you ghosted them or they ghosted you. I feel like somebody did try to give, give the ax though. You know, like maybe you told them, maybe you like threatened you're gonna break up and then they, <laughs> and then they're now they're ignoring you. <laughs> Hear the truth without fear. Be willing to acknowledge and express your emotional experiences and allow others to do the same. Hear the truth. Hmm. They're ghosting you because they want you to be able to hear the truth without fear and be willing to acknowledge and express your emotional experiences and allow others to do the same. Yeah, so maybe you give them the ax without wanting to hear their side of it. Well, I hope that resonated with you guys. If it does, you should give me a like, comment below what parts were your story. If you're not a subscriber, you should subscribe. You should check out my other content. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Helps my channel. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, afternoon, evening, or night. I love you. Thanks for coming in and sharing your energy with me. Bye-bye. Patch kid, are you sour and then you're sweet? Is that how it goes? You're sour, then you're sweet, naughty, and then nice. Okay, so these are the descriptor cards that I pulled. This will let you know if this is supposed to be your pile to watch or your can to on your group. This person is an intellectual, this person is somebody <laughs> with low vibes. Or maybe somebody that's been in a funk lately. And this person is a loner. So if these descriptors match your person that ghosted you, then let's jump in to divination dice and see why they ghosted you. What's going on? Some more insight into the situation. All right, let's see. Oh, and you can't see any, can you? Hmm. What do we got here? Knife, knife, heart, element of water. <clears throat> I guess you could be a water sign, they could be a water sign, or maybe the reason they ghosted you has something to do with a water sign. Okay, I'm also getting, maybe you weren't opening up or being honest or communicating about a situation and they became enlightened about it and that caused them to be emotional and want to cut it off or you mutually wanted to cut it off so it's weird that there's two knives and didn't expect that one right I have such dark humor I'm not even gonna go there though spirit hmm Hmm. No, we're not going to go there. Let's pull some mess. Let's get some more from this. See if we can get any more insight. <clears throat> Heart and the two knives to get the image of like a duel, like an old fashioned time duel. I challenge you to a duel, and you're both like, okay, I got my what's that a butcher knife? <laughs> and both, both are ready. Oh boy, maybe they just got enlightened that you and their.
their mind anyway, it's their opinion, that you aren't going to open up and be emotional and they think that the love is toxic and it'll just make you both wanna cut a bish. I don't know. Well, we got cheater energy popped out. So maybe somebody cheated, maybe they cheated on you or you cheated on them. That's weird, I did earlier say something about a water sign. So I'm sorry, that might uh, really be someone's message. You have to use your discernment. If it's not for you, don't make it. I don't feel like this is for everybody that picked this group. And I do feel like somebody might be running around with the water signs. So I felt it right away. lost your mind and my heart is ever at your service so uh could be that they feel like they're still in love with you but there's still that energy like mm -mm, no it's not gonna work um or that you will lose your mind and i also got the message when i read my heart is ever at, at your service that maybe they expect you to coddle them and cater to them and always fill their cup up um possessive and emotional both came out oh yeah remember I said that made them emotional they were enlightened to something which made them emotional possessive could be them or you if the reading resonated you should leave it in the comments let me know how what was part of your story you should like the video if you like it, of course. You should check out my other content. And if you're not subscribed, you should become a subscriber. Um, I enjoy connecting with your energy. So if the last time that we meet, then I love you. Thank you so much. Have a good afternoon, a good day, evening, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thanks. Bye.